I am getting another nudge, and this one is pretty profound, I think, because I'm starting to see beyond the illusion in so many respects. I really believe I'm an observer, and that's what my life path is about. It's about listening, seeing, and learning, and experiencing that which I've come to realize through my mind and my body and my spirit. I, um, I've been seeing lately a lot of relationships breaking up and almost Im immediately people re-entering relationship, a different relationship. And for me, again, I'm the observer. I don't do relationship, personal relationship right now. For a nine-year uh, cycle, I have been just about me and the body I wear and the environment I live in. And so I'm seeing the old paradigm shifting, definitely. And these people that are moving on are more awake than those that I've seen before. And of course, they still don't realize that it's not about the other body, but you cannot be where you are not. So if you're in a certain vibration, and for a lot of these people, they've been in like, ailing relationships for a long time and that's the same relationship experience that they're having in their own body but so many of them are going into a higher vibration with uh, mindset regarding lifestyle uh, food and and energy and such so I see that as they are awakening to this new understanding about caring for the the self the small self the little self the first descendant, the body, it's bringing them into a new experience. So the old falls away. And of course, there's a lot of sorrow in that because though they're awake to the fact that they need to care for themselves a bit more, they're still caught up in the victim mindset that, oh my God, he left me. Or, oh my God, I have to move on. How sad. Uh, when in fact, they can't be where they're not. So no matter what, those failing, ailing relationships were becoming intolerable because you can't breathe in an environment where there is no breath. And I just think that it's so beautiful for my own personal experience because I see now how far I've come in my evolution of, of self-care and love. Um, I can't feel, I can't tell you how, how, amazing I feel in the fact that I've accomplished so much personally in my own evolution without another body. My own body has been my lover, my pain, my suffering, my joy, my bliss. And I understand that it is a recipient of all that I think and I feel and I, and I assume. So I know that, and the more that I know that, the more that I want to care for this child that I've been rearing in, in the most beautiful way because I know that it's not about another. I know it's about the body I wear. I know it's about the environment I live in. And the more pristinely aware that I become to this fact that my universe is a product of what I assume and what I am and what I be it changes everything. And I really feel that seeing it in my world is showing me the fruits of my labor. Because as I become more sane and more right-minded about what I know is true, my body and the world that I call my world, which is also a product of my, my mind and, my, and is also a child of mine, is also joining me, coming along with me. And uh, it's just so profound because more than not am I seeing these broken relationships happening and seeing these people either deciding to be alone, not happening too much though, it's more that they're just going into another relationship. And uh, I see it clearly. And for the most part, the people that I see it happening to are not seeing it the way I am but they are coming to me for answers which is really interesting because they're all a product of my own mind and all my and my own state of being 
Um, I don't know what's going to happen for me. I don't know if another body will appear. But my own body is becoming more expressive in the true sense of love and peace and joy and health. So it's all really good. Have a beautiful day. I love you.